We ride together, we, we die, die together. together. Bad, Bad marriage, marriage for life. life. And mm -hmm. quietly. Stop. It's no, it's stop. Stop. Oh, maybe for Alice, right? Mm -mm. Ah, but not me. Mm -mm. No way. What do you wish that on my enemy? No, me. I, I don't have enemies. Yeah. But if I did, yeah. I wouldn't wish that. Hello everyone. Hi. Uh, welcome to Love from the Other Side. I'm Kaimiso. And I'm Praviso. We are happy that you guys have joined us. Uh, thank you for your support, your likes, subscribe, comments, all that stuff. Uh, we are now on the road to 200. 200 subscribers. Yeah, maybe yeah. at 200 you should tell them in Shona. Mm -hmm. You can't even tell them in Shona. Yeah. I must tell them in Shona. Yes, if you want to see Tabby, tell tell say thank you for two hundred in Shona. I have Shona friends. They'll just say They'll it the teach comment. me, and I'll impress you. Exactly. Mm -hmm. So today's topic, since uh, Bo will they're saying that um, bad marriage for life, we don't believe in that stuff here. Yeah, we believe in good marriage for life. Happiness. Exactly. Monate Fontaine. Fail. I'm not fail. Mm. So, um, we've Monate come up... Monate is a thing, eh? Yeah, it's a thing. Okay. Yeah. Um, so, we've come up with a list of eight things that we wish we knew before we got married. Okay? I'm going to cover four things which are like... Which affect your singleness or during your single phase. Yeah? And then... And I'll say the four things that I wish I knew or somebody told me before I got married that yeah. this is a thing. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Um, a disclaimer, we are saved, Holy Spirit baptized, Bible believing, all of Christians. So, the, so you know, we're taking it from that perspective. If yes. you're not really saved, some things might come off as a bit like, yeah. 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 But uh, they make plenty of sense to us. This is who we are. All right. Okay. First thing on my list, married sex is fire. Married sex is fire. It's fire. Fire. Married sex is fire. Okay. So, like, that's something I wish I knew before I got married when I was, like, single, that married sex is fire. Then you know it would be like no, what thing is one bit like because it's going to the promised land, guys. <laughs> so just wait, guys. Don't just don't dish out all the streets, guys. Don't be in all the streets, please, please. Like I know, like this goes against the wisdom, popular wisdom. Like if you go onto like Twitter, man, yeah. and Instagram, and you say this on Instagram, they're gonna be like, come on. <laughs> Wait, <laughs> wait, even even now, it's like a team. Like, what do you mean, wait? That's serious, no. Christian as you are, Christian. Girl. But I was like, uh -uh. guys, no, no, because I also couldn't understand the wisdom. But Did you really true. not understand? No, 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 no. There's levels, mm. you can be like, ah, oh, Christian, Christian, and then there's that one thing where the Lord is like, yeah, this one, and you're like, ah, eh. <laughs> I'm Christian everywhere, but this one, <laughs> Jesus, wait. Wait a little bit. You understand me. Lord, you understand my heart. No. And it's terrible. That's terrible. It's not like... Yeah, don't do yeah, that. Don't do that. Don't do yeah, that. Yeah, it's laughy, laughy, jokey, jokey. But for real, uh, marriage sex is actually fire. Despite all the jokes that you hear on, like, comedies and stuff, like, that it's, like, sleepy, boring, but it's really not. It's really... Wow. It's worth the wait. It's worth the wait. That's number one. Number two, we'll you know what? we'll still do a whole full in depth episode on sex. We're just not sure if our was fail of us alone is ready for us to Yeah, I don't think I'm ready either. I'm working on trying to keep a straight face when we talk about sex. Yeah. It's one of the things that if you grew up like Christian mm. or in the church, as a girl especially, yeah. yeah, the topic of sex just makes you uncomfortable. Yeah. So yeah. I would love to, we'll do an episode and we'll mm -hmm. properly unpack this thing as sex, but marriage sex is also an anointed, which is different to like when you're not married, mm -hmm. that sex is not anointed. Mm -hmm. An anointed sex is different. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Okay. It's like talking to God. Oh my God! Yeah. It's okay <laughs> to be the first one to apologize. 
Um, most women don't like to apologize. Um, I'm also trying to learn not to be like, ah, oh, he's the one who has to apologize. Because for some reason, um, mm. a disagreement is not over until someone apologizes. And most of the time, you know, you expect it to be the other person. Well, all is apologizing is gents. All the time. No, it's gents. okay. It's okay and, to apologize. And women I are, just say. You know what? Yeah. Women are always just like, I want to apologize. I'll just give him sex. No, no. We want at the apology. Yeah, I'll just cook for him. You know, you hear about these things. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I, 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 I see it when, just cook for him. when women are just like, you did what? Mm, no, yes. Apol- Yay. Yes. Yeah. But yeah. Okay, you say you're always apologizing, but like also don't apologize if you don't know what you're apologizing for because now you're making things worse. Mm-hmm. Like I appreciate an apology when you understand mm-hmm. where I'm coming from. Yeah. You know? Yeah. So yeah, don't don't hold grudges and don't be like, I'm gonna hold on to this thing and I'll only deal with it once I feel better about it. Mm-hmm. So it's better to reconcile early. Mm-hmm. Than to be right also. Someone someone once said this. It's better to reconcile mm-hmm. than to be right. Yeah. And we like to hold on to being right. And sometimes it's not about who's right, who's wrong. Mm-hmm. Sometimes your perspectives are different. So it's okay to be the first one to apologize. And mm-hmm. yeah, that's the other thing. Humble pie is a thing when you're married. Yeah, you're going to eat a lot. You're going you're gonna, to you're gonna feast humble pie. <laughs> on the humble. <laughs> it's so much humble. Yeah. Okay. Marriage is great. It's, and it's really not that hard. It's like people make it seem like yo marriage, yo, 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 man, now I'm fancy for one and yo, yo, they like yo. But guys, like to be honest, marriage is really nice. It's really not that difficult. Mm. The difficult part is finding the right person yep. to be with. And if you get that wrong. Yes. It's just all, it's going to be Ooh. all Will and Jada from there. Why? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> that hurts. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, it's just going to be all like, yeah. So, and also making sure that you are also the right one. You know, like you want to yeah. find the right person. Yeah. You also need to be like, just like the right person yourself. Like, like you ask yourself, yourself the question, would yeah. I want to marry me? Yeah. Because, mm-hmm. like, if you watch Red Table Talk, they're all like, you know, I have to go through these hurts and the pains and mm-hmm. the what, what. And it's like, no, like, you don't need this person to, you don't need to take a person on this ride with you to your hurts and your pains and blah, mm-hmm. blah, blah. And then cause all this mess. You and also deal with your things. Yeah. Before you get married. Oh. So, yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so, it's really not that, actually, marriage is actually really, really great. Yeah. But it absolutely mm-hmm. sucks if you make the wrong decision. Sure. <laughs> How would you know that? I I mean we've all we all know bad case worst case scenarios. Yeah. Like we all listen to us. Choose man. carefully. Yes. Choose. Be sober. Be picky. Be sober. Mm-hmm. Yes. But other than that, it's actually really great. It's really not that difficult. Yeah. It's really it's really awesome. Okay. <clears throat> Number four. Sex may <laughs> Sex makes men happy. Mm-hmm. It makes your husband happy. Yeah. So happy, it's funny to watch. Mm-hmm. You know, he'll become all touchy and, you know, mm-hmm. affectionate. Mm-hmm. But beware. Mm-hmm. Ne? Don't be, don't become manipulative or weaponized. Because, um, like, is it Superman? Who says this? Ooh. Uh, with with great power comes great responsibility. Comes great responsibility. Yeah, I think that's the case here. Yeah. So you realize just how much men like would give mm-hmm. for sex. So try not to weaponize it. The precious. Ne? <laughs> the precious. Try not to because the next the day it hits you. <laughs> Maybe now I'm late in the game. Yeah. Like the day it hits you, just yeah. how much this means yeah. to a man. Yeah. Like you'll be like, oh, maybe I can get one, two, three. Mm-hmm. Yeah, one. Yeah. Or maybe I can just. <laughs> so you've thought about strategizing for me? No. Bruh. I've just. That's why I have to. I, I, I've stopped myself. <laughs> 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 
I'm being blamed for you. Yeah. Yeah. But you once said, no, Tabby, manipulate me. Yes. It's fine. Yeah, it's fine. <laughs> I'll figure out your plans after. <laughs> you know, we actually realized that mm. back, back when we were kids, mm. and your mom would be like, don't know how to I'll talk to your father. <laughs> I'll talk to your father tonight. Don't know we how didn't it. know. We didn't know what she was. <laughs> she went. She knew. She was like, don't worry. Me, yeah, I know. I know. <laughs> And then that day she cooks the, the tea bowl and, and then, the pub. Hey. And then sends everyone to bed. <laughs> Early. <laughs> In the morning, he's like, Yeah, Monji, you said you want to go to that dance. Yeah, okay, no, go. It's fine. Yeah, yeah, go. Yeah. How much do you hear? Yeah. Like, oh. <laughs> Woo. Yeah. Yeah. So, part B of that uh-huh. ne, is, um, is actually a quote by some guy called Jonathan Dory or something like that. Okay. Uh, it says, if, let me read it actually, it says, if we reduce a man simply to his sexuality or his sexual urges, we're really missing a whole lot of what there is in a man, Mm -hmm. which is very true, Mm -hmm. especially for like, now I'm talking to like women who've like grown up in the church and you've been Christian and you've been saving yourself Mm -hmm. for marriage. Um, what you hear from the pulpit about sex, the majority of the time is not positive. Mm. Ne? So by the time you actually have to engage with a man on a sexual level, mm. it's a lot. Mm. Because for some reason, men don't internalize negative messages about sex half as much as we do. Mm-hmm. So now when you're in marriage, now you have to be open mm. to this part of your life that you've resisted all your life now. Yeah. And now you start resenting this guy mm. for wanting to do the things. Mm. You know, you start resenting them for wanting to watch it. Mm-hmm. You know? So you're just like, oh my gosh, you and your urges. Uh, now you start reducing him yeah. to his to his <clears throat> urges instead of trying to understand that mm-hmm. For some reason, that is how men communicate mm. love. That is yeah. how they feel love. Yeah, I think that they, like, it, there's a weird mixture yeah. between, um, like, cultural ideas of mm. sex and Christianity. And then they kind of, kind of just all, like, mixed, mixed, yeah. mixed. Yeah. And then it's, like, there's a very, like, negative, like, sure. Yes. You know what I'm saying? Where or, I like, from, dirty. Like, yeah. sex is dirty. Yeah. Like, ill. Yeah. Like I'm pretty like where I come from, mm. there would be people who would be like, "God, you did a video about what?" <laughs> I'm telling you, and this could be extremely offensive to someone, right? But I put it on YouTube and discussed it. No, Any? but you know what Any? I'm grateful for? Yeah, my mom has never given me a vibe of sex is bad. Yeah, yeah. Like she's always like been. She's never been the kind to be like, yeah. Yeah. but obviously she was never like, yeah, uh, team premarital sex. Yeah. But she's yeah. always had a very positive, yeah. you know, sexual message. Yes. Yeah, which I'm grateful for. But growing up in the church, the poor people just hammer you yeah. with very negative. Yeah. And they're trying to help. Né? Yeah. But in the process, it might, it just might do mm. more harm than good. Yeah. So if you're about to get married, this is another topic, actually. Yeah, it's a whole. It's a whole topic. Sorry, we're talking about. Like, yeah, it's a whole what topic. What are we saying? But now, so when it's saying. time to get married, there's a lot of unlearning you're supposed to do. Yeah. I'm still unlearning. Yeah, I am still. Is. I'm over a year in. Yeah. And I'm still unlearning. Yeah. 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 But if you're not married, like I said, go back to the beginning of the video. Mm. Married sex is anointed, guys. Please don't get us wrong. <laughs> <laughs> don't get us wrong. Okay. It's all right. Five. Money. This is the topic of money. Woo. Everyone's favorite. If you have a don't don't if you have a very high priority mm-hmm. on money in mm-hmm. your life, mm-hmm. that could either slow down the date of your happy ending of marriage, <laughs> uh-huh. or that could continue to follow you and plague you in marriage. Mm-hmm. So. Like, I can, like, when I was single, before we got married, I'd be like, no, no, we can't get married now because of the money, the money, the money, you know? And my dad would always tell me that if you keep waiting for money, Mm -hmm. you'll never get married. Mm -hmm. Like, get married, the Lord will bless you. Yeah. And I'd be like, 
Christmas. This, mm. this old man. And this I'm pretty sure that a lot of people would disagree out right there. Right. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I know. Of course they're going to disagree. But yeah, yeah I mean, so, and, I, and actually, so what was interesting is that when we got married, mm. um, because I was still working in Zim after we got married, so I went back to Zim and everyone was like, I mean, I remember there were quite a number of like, young people mm. would come to me and be like, you got married in SA with Rans. <laughs> the Rans. Johnny, like, mm. but we, you, we work here. So yeah. how are you affording this? And I'd be like, yo, like the Lord is faithful, man. And then they'd open up and be like, you know, I've been with this girl however mm. many years and wanted to get married and the money is not there and, blah, 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 and all those sort of things. And so many people have delayed or continue to delay yeah. their happiness because of financial reasons. I'm not saying that people must get married and have nothing. Mm-hmm. I didn't say We're not that. saying that, but do, don't let it that. be a priority don't manipulate. or an obstacle. Yeah, but if it's a, mm. if it's a priority, it, it you must be aware that it will affect the date in which you get married, which is you know pretty sad, like you know, mm. and it will continue to affect your marriage. So there is a need to like learn to trust the Lord, trust mm. in the Lord. Um, to provide because when you are married, they will chase you. You mm. know what I mean? If you're like, no, the money, he must be the what, what, what? And then you get married, you continue to be like, what, what? And it will never, never find end. peace. It will, will never end. You never find peace. Mm. And then we'll see you on Red Table. <laughs> yeah, well, so, guys, please, guys, if you find yourself on Red Table, guys, yo, please, I don't wish that for anyone. So, so yes, don't make that like the absolute priority. Mm. Um, if you're like us and you're a Bible believing, born again, what a baptized Jesus in my life, Christian, you know what I'm saying? Then the like your viewpoint on money shouldn't even be the same as someone who's unsaved anyway. Yeah. And um, yeah. Number six. Since my husband has already said, Liano Limona. Le monate. So nice yes. that you might get so distracted that you neglect your other relationships. Mm -hmm. Your relationship with God included, which is a no no. Like your relationship with your friends, the friends you had when you were single, your relationship with, I don't know, the people who are close to you. So just make sure you like you keep in touch. I know some people are being uh they get told ne by Bo Auntie mm -hmm. that you're a married woman now. You can't be associated with the singles. In in like one of the things that I've learned in my marriage is that you're not an island. My husband is like a very social person. He has like a lot of friends and a lot of support system. And the support system is actually the support that we get on YouTube. Yeah. Ne? It is. It's yeah. the result of that. So I am learning to not be an island. I'm learning to try to, you know, multitask as far as like relationship is involved, um, is concerned. So, yeah, don't be an island. Mm -hmm. Continue to, like, build those friendships. Of course, it's not going to be the same, mm -hmm. but continue to build, like, uh, wife friendship, friendships and girl friendships and um, the other friendships that you had. Continue mm -hmm. to build because you are, if you just, like, depend on your husband, mm -hmm. it's, it's going to be a burden mm -hmm. for your partner to always, like, carry all of you, carry mm -hmm. all your feelings. And sometimes he's not going to understand you. You're not going to understand each other. And it's nice to talk to someone who's, like, who sees things from your perspective because mm -hmm. they're not always going to see uh, mm -hmm. things from your perspective. So don't neglect mm -hmm. your relationship with God mm -hmm. and with the other people that were there before mm -hmm. you got married. Yeah. So yeah. watch out for that. Yeah, you can now be like, you don't see him anymore. Soon they're like, I don't see him. Do you see where? Hey. Yeah, do you see where they gave you? Because it's possible. Yeah, it's I mean. so nice. Yeah, no, it is nice. It's I mean, so you nice. even forget that, like, mm. oh, watch there's other people. Hey. There's a level of happiness <laughs> when you, you spend all weekend at home doing nothing mm. and it's, you're satisfied. <laughs> You know what I mean? Like when you're single, 
Mm. You can be like, yo, it's like, yo, James, what's happening? Yo, where's the bride? Let's go to the place. See you up. Exactly, see you up. <laughs> but like when you're like mm. happily married, yeah, uh, happily married because mm. the sadly married ones are always like, Wait, boy, wait, boy, <laughs> boy, bye, your <bye>, boy. <laughs> when you're happily married, mm. you're just legit chilling, like, Ah, man, it's the weekend of the 20th, I'm broke, I'm chilling, I'm happy, <laughs> I'm happy. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, so okay, yeah, that's number true. seven. That's okay, um, let go. Of your favorite pain. To be successfully married, you've got to let go of your favorite pain. So what I mean by favorite pain, mm. we all have like traumas that we've experienced in yeah. life that you've been collecting, you know, whether it was like, ah, oh, my ex did this, this, or my parents once did that, or mm. Zimbabwe. <laughs> <laughs> You know what I mean? Or whatever. Like, you've got all these pains or if perhaps you're a survivor of a sexual assault. That's all, all the sort of things. Yeah. And then we hold on to those things and then we make them part of our identity. Mm. We say that, you know, like, you know, it's like You part become of very attached to your trauma. Yeah. You are yeah. You know, very attached to it. And you, you, you tell yourself that you are who you are because of this thing. Yeah. That thing has to go. To, it has to, to be pull. dealt with. Yeah, no, mm. you have to deal with it too. Because mm. like, like marriage is like, a, it, it brings out all the, the bits mm. that shouldn't be there. It puts a mirror in front of you. Exactly. It forces you to look at yourself. And, and then you're like, oh, wow, this thing is there. And, yeah. it, and those things now have to be dealt with. You have to let them go. Like I said, we are Christians and we deal with them through the power of the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! The power of the Holy Spirit. If you're not a Christian, I don't know shrink or something i don't know but the thing will still therapy still. also helps yes mm. it does help exactly therapy helps. yeah if you can yeah mm. exactly it does help as well mm. so but oxala is that those things have to go yeah and uh, it will bring so many fights and problems into your marriage into and you'll be lives. fighting with your person your person won't know what the fight is about yeah they won't get it because mm. half the time we're, we're talking about things where it's not like blatantly obvious that someone is right someone is wrong yeah if you've got like a hang up because someone did something in mm. your life at one point and then one day it's just like yeah wh- wh- why are you cooking like that mm. yeah. i don't like what you did I what did you. i do i know it's the mm. way you did it so, exactly mm. and then what what do you mean what are you talking about because mm. you know that you know the trigger mm. they don't know the trigger so and that those things really have to go yeah they really have to go they have to be dealt with and then uh, it'll be all smiles. You know? Yeah. yeah. You'll be happy now. So much happiness. Not that it's like a happy process to deal with those things. No. It's not like you're smiling. There's like nights where, you know, you've got your side of the bed. You've got his side of the bed. <laughs> you know what I mean? But what's actually happening is that, you know, these things are there. You know? But... <laughs> That's that's actually the, the, the I think the the blessing of marriage. Yeah, marriage. it's that perfecting of mm, your continuous spirit. You know, even though it's not a pleasant one. Yeah, and it's, I mean, it's not like an everyday thing. These things come up like, mm. and then it's like, oh, what's that thing? Mm. And then now I'm like, no, it's actually because when I was two years old. And it's good mm. to talk about it, like. Yeah. You know, bring in, bring your partner yeah. in, and yeah. there'll be more understanding yeah. if you explain. This is where I'm coming from. Yeah. This is what happened. Yeah. There'll be more understanding, and they'll be more empathetic. Exactly. If you actually yeah. explain what's going, on. don't be yeah. like exactly yeah. rude or mm. I don't know. Just yeah. use your words. Exactly. Yeah. So yes, th- that's my things. That's everything. Yeah, what that's everything. Have? That's it. That's it. So we hope you enjoyed this video. We hope it's gonna like help mm-hmm. with someone out there. What else the, for the married people? What yeah. else do you wish you knew? Yes, before you got married, just like leave leave like tips and yes thoughts you've had yeah. while you were married, so that people who are not in this position yet may be like, oh, that's a thing. That's a thing. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. Thank you so much for joining us. We'll see you in the next video. Bye. Bye.